welcome to this year's first edition of QET. Now, uh, taking Josh's place in the uh, in the hot seat, uh, we're going to have Elizabeth Kilvert, who's and she'll be giving us a little background knowledge on uh, the skirt issue going around QEH this time of year. And uh, well, I guess we can uh, let her take over from there. We don't want to give away too much of the uh, the issue, so no. we'll just let Elizabeth take it from here. Hello, this is Elizabeth Kilvert for QETV. Around the 13th of September. Some of you may have noticed a difference in the usual dress code of some students in the school. A group of male students uh, who were going against the judgment made by the school administration were, uh, were skirts and kilts. When asked why, they said they felt that they were being suppressed and um, their rights were being infringed upon. Some did it to defend their own personal rights, maintaining that since no dress code in the school was implicated, that they weren't violating any. Others did it in order to defend and protest uh, the injustice of a fellow student's punishment. Some students did it as a simple rebellion against the school's administration. The opinions of the students on the subject varied greatly. Uh, some students felt that there was nothing wrong with the protest and that it was for a very valid reason and that it was good that students called into question administration's views and decisions on subjects. Others felt that it was a valid point but it could have been done and uh, cleared up more effectively and quickly if parents had have called into the school or had have written letters in protest. Some felt that kilts were perfectly all right to wear, but the skirt was not, where a skirt is traditionally a feminine symbol. Opinions also uh, start, said that this started off as a valid cause, but it turned into more of a fashion statement among certain groups of students. Um, around other corners of the school, you had words being mumbled, such as transvestite and femme. Some felt that instead of the, instead of the cause seeking attention, it was just a group of individ individuals basically going out there and trying to seek attention for themselves. And other students maintained that they could see absolutely nothing wrong with this and that these students were dressed more decently than a large number of the students in the school. When it came down to support, female students were more supportive of the cause, saying that it was up to the, the guys to choose their own uh, standpoint but males were highly opinionated on the subject and they are either very supportive of it or in a small minority they were very supportive but in a larger minority um, a lot of males protested it. The news generated at QEH made local and even national coverage and now, well, it's hit the big time and it's on QETV. Thank you very much. This has been Elizabeth Kilbert. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth. Thank you. Now to follow up on that uh, pretty in-depth report, we have uh, our first installment of The Question Man. The Question Man. Let's hope he's, hope he's here a lot. Hi. I'm Jason Sweeney, better known as Question Man. I'm going to ask our studio audience what they think of the skirt-kilt issue here at QE. First, I think I'd like to bring up the girl in the green shirt there with the uh, person hanging from her necklace. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Claire. And uh, what do you think of this, this skirt issue here at QE? Well, I was really proud to know all the guys who stood up for the freedom to dress how they want and who wore skirts to school that day. And I was kind of, I kind of wished that day that I'd been a guy so I could wear a skirt too to school. Uh, do you think guys look good in these skirts? It depends. On what? The figure. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, now I'd like to bring up... Uh, the person in the uh, jacket there, striped jacket. Hello there. Hi. What's your name? Derek. Do you have any special uh, uh, position in this kilt issue? Oh yeah, I suppose so. I uh, I wore a, a skirt to school rather than a kilt. It was a, a white number with the blue vertical stripes down about here. Very fetching. Oh, uh, what do you think of the skirt issue? Well, uh, obviously, since I wore a, a skirt, I'm in, in favor of guys being allowed to wear skirts or kilts, so I'm just, you know, displaying solidarity with, with Ethan and Lucas. Okay, and what do you think of all these guys that are against skirts, skirts, kilts? <laughs> well, generally, I think it's a sort of redneck attitude that they're perpetrating. And what do you think of uh, the principal's and vice principal's uh, views on these? Well, uh, personally, I think that it's uh, about time that the rural proletariat of the school, as it were, rose up against the, uh, the school's administration and, and 
squelched this sort of totalitarian sentiment. Uh, the Utopia Party was, uh, was put down by the leaders of the model parliament because it was, you know, filled with freaks and anarchists. And that wasn't uh, opposed, and, but I really felt that this should be. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I wonder if we can get any negative views here. Uh, you, in the white shirt, red, blue stripes. Could you come up? Hi. Hi. What's your name? Philip. And what's your opinion on the uh, skirt kilt issue? Well, it's okay to wear, for a guy to wear a kilt because kilts are traditional, Scottish, and all that stuff, but the skirts are a little bit ridiculous for, for some people who are kind of weird. Uh, so you think the guys shouldn't wear the skirts to school? No, I don't think they should. Uh, well, why not? Well, it, it just doesn't look right, because later on in life they're, they're going to want a job and maybe something like this is going to come up and you never know, it could, could affect something because they could have gone to school with them, I don't know. So you think that uh, because they're fighting for their rights here, uh, that they'll be kept from a future job in the f uh, later on in life? Well, sure it shows them out going, but still, it does look kind of foolish. Uh, do you know, do you have any friends that did this themselves? Not too many. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, you in the uh, brown sweater. Did you come up? Thank you. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kim. Um, do you have any friends that did this? I knew a few people who did this. And what do you think of uh, guys wearing kilts or skirts? Well, I think it's up to the individual if he wants to wear one, and but it's not up to the administration of the school to oppress it or give their like demand what they wear. So what do you think should be done about the uh, uh, head of the heads of the school? Well, nothing can really be done about them, but maybe they should back off a little. So what do you think uh, would happen if um, uh, the guy, uh, guy decided to wear nylons to school or um, started to wear maybe a blouse to school or stuff like this? Well, again, I think it's up to the guy. If that's what he wants to wear, I'd say do it. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's all the time we have to ask the people in the audience.